But the plain truth, brothers and sisters, is that the Democratic Party bosses are not willing to give Reverend Jackson, they're not willing to give the rainbow the respect that is our due. Reverend Jackson got more than 7 million votes during the primary season. He had 1,300 convention delegates. And Michael Dukakis would not even take the time or the 25 cents to call him on the telephone. We need to have a look at that. You know, I'm no novice to racism. I teach about it. I fight against it every day of my life. But there are still those moments when these crackers do something that sort of catches you off guard and you can feel it in your gut. When I watch our brother standing on national TV, making it clear that he had not been notified by Michael Dukakis about the choice of Lloyd Benson that he found out when these reporters rushed him at the airport, I felt the humiliation that Jesse Jackson had to be filled. As a black woman, I felt it to my very essence. And I got the message, because the message was that Michael Dukakis was going to bring Jesse Jackson and this movement to his knees. And as I watched that TV show, I said, sucker, no, you won't. We ain't getting on our knees. We won't be put in our place. We got a surprise for you. Two rows are better than one is no symbol. It was planned and schemed on from the very beginning so that when this very thing happened, we had a response to the Michael Dukakis of the Democratic Party. Y'all with me? Success of the Jackson campaign exposed the worst in the anti-progressive, white supremacist, Democratic Party. That is why for 16 months, I have argued that only the presence of the independent option could give the rainbow movement leverage at this very convention. That only an independent option could force the body, party bosses to yield us a platform and a ticket to our liking. Now many people in the Jackson campaign have not welcomed the presence of the independent rainbow. Brothers and sisters, they have talked about me bad. They have rejected the leverage that only outside pressure could bring to bear. And they therefore, not me, have weakened Reverend Jackson's position, a situation that the Dukakis forces are only too happy to take advantage of. So I want to use this occasion of us being here together tonight to speak directly and to speak very personally to Reverend Jackson. I want to speak to him as a sister and as a friend with the greatest respect and love for the brilliance, the courage, and the dignity that he's shown throughout this historic campaign. Jesse, if you can hear me over there, behind all those barricades and the cops and those walls and the exclusion and the racism of the Democratic Party, Jesse, you have brilliant, brilliantly led us, unfortunately, to the wrong place, my dear brother. 